Previously on Dorking Uncovered, we went to Blackpool and found Coral Island, the inspiration for Coral Island. TNT Sports are here. Mark is expecting these to have a fast start. I'm expecting these to have a really fast start. Niall fell off a table. Yes, Niall. And Mark insists that Harrison wear a cap. You need one as backup, because this son, you don't normally play this early. And this son is in your, like there. That boy, that boy has just gone and got a cap. And now, the filed match. OK, so let's do the tactical recap. Filed are expected to play four at the back, and they are pretty direct. Although they're good at keeping the ball when they get it up top. But they haven't won in four games, and they had a man sent off in the draw against Halifax in midweek. So Mark oh knows the gaffer God. might have to make some changes. Dorking, meanwhile, need to keep hold of the ball and not let Filed do their thing. So it's forward passes where possible, and only go backwards if it changes the landscape. I could take over this club, you know. Mark obviously wants a fast start, but in our experience this season, it's usually the opposition that get forward straight away, and Falder in that camp. Kane finds the defence opening up in front of him, but he drives low and wide. I, did, I can't see the fucking force in the way, mate. Are you going to stand there? Are you going to stand there? Or oh, we can't see a fucking. I'll thing. get. I'll be back when I can, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's all them. George, George. Mark knows his side need to move the ball quicker if their patterns are going to work. Who played that there? Fucking shit, mate. Don't have one, I can't see because the fucking fourth. Well, what the bench missed is pretty straightforward. Dorking lost the ball in their own half, Fard knocked it about, and eventually Nick Horton got hold of it. He wriggled around and slipped it low past Harrison Mayle to give the home side an early lead. It wasn't a pass, it was a loose touch from George. Yeah, it was a loose pass into George. No! Need to hear you! Talk to the boys. Loads of talking. as Fylde looked to immediately build on the lead. Tony! Tony! No! Fucking in there! Play! Play! Harrison's looking for someone to go short to, but he doesn't have many options here. Fucking hell! working on the long-term pattern plan while the Wanderers finally get the ball into the filed box. Go on tight, go on tight. There it is. Yes! 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 yes, Carlos! If ever Dorking score a goal inside the six-yard box, it's safe to assume James McShane had something to do with it. This time, George Franklin's ball to the back stick is headed back across by Tony Craig. Hayden Hollis helps it on. Macca taps in to make it one all. Stay high. No, yeah. listen to me. Listen to me. Stay high and let them two keep passing because they're going to leave one yeah. of you free. One of you will be left free. Talking have parity despite that horrendous start. All they need to do now is make sure they move the ball quickly and beat that high press. 
You can have as many patterns as you want, but if you don't move the ball really quick, you're fucked. Yeah, yeah, agreed. That's the problem. Agreed. agreed. Play 2v1! Where? Where? Deliver! Where? Deliver, Jim! Deliver, Jim! Fucking any danger. Fader offering more counters than a game of Ludo, and Ustabashi is desperate to get the ball past the safe hands solo. It's going to catch on. Mail runs out faster than an iPhone battery and he smothers the ball as if it were an old person that promised him a big inheritance. Warm up, mate, going on. Is it? Harry. Did you say you, Harry? Mark wants to change shape, so he's bringing the hot dog on to give a bigger presence up front. What, what are you in? What are you in? Gotta be. 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 Gotta Who's oh, going on for, Gaffer? Trap, 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 trap. No. No. And then Alf over here? No. No. We're going to go 3-5-2. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. We're not going to defend these. Yeah. He's getting fucking absolutely slaughtered. Niall McManus is coming off early. Hopefully he can get the hook before he lets Fylde score again. Is it not worth putting him in the free zone and putting Hayden on the floor? Yeah. Sadly, Connor Barrett has figured out Niall's big weakness. He's, well, he's rubbish at football. As Coach Ross points out, the change they're about to make was intended to stop exactly that from happening. Barrett bursts down the right and crosses low for Luke Charman to score from close range. Yeah. Good luck, Hitch. No! Tactical change! It's only kind of half a tactical change for the record there, Niall. <laughs> Tony! Back three. Play left. George. No, you and Alfie, high. Full press. George, full press. Well, we should at least see some improvement now. Let's hope Jimmy Mewitz can find some form on the other wing. That is so fucking shit. What chance you got, mate? Jimmy Mewitz passes the ball directly to a white shirt, a shirt worn by Josh Kay, who bursts forward saying, thanks, Jimmy, with every step. And with the help of Horton, the ball is worked over to Ustabashi, and he slots into the corner to give Fylde a comfortable lead. No. You've got no chance. You could, you could train fucking eight days a week. Boys, oi, oi, you've got to get some aggression. Our fans have come a long way. Do you have to talk to our lads here? Dan, he's fucking rinsing you. Don't you come in, because you're getting slaughtered. You worry about you. You worry about you. You're a second. More raid going on. Alfie coming off, abysmal. Abysmal. I know you've been out a long time, son, so I don't mind that, I'll be honest with you. Jimmy, fuck me. It's bad. Have you asked for it off him? When you've gone backwards for the third? Why? I, I told you for the... I know. I told you for the game, we commit players. That goal fucks us in this game. Hollis, Craig, Baz. Honestly, if I were you, I'd be smashing up his changing room. Because these, these boys in front of you are hanging you out to dry on another level. Fucking on a fucking level. No, 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 no. You can't defend 1v1 at any fucking level. Okay, Dan, stop him touching the ball, Dan. Okay, that's your job. You're going to have to turn up this half, boys. You're going to have to fucking turn up. You're going to have to turn up. I don't want any passengers. Don't want any passengers. Jim, uh, you, you need to stay on the pitch 90 minutes. I don't want fucking passengers, Jim. I want to fucking see you at it. Okay, come on, lads, okay? Come on. <laughs> 
To get back into this, they're going to need to show some decent finishing moves. Well, Moro did surprise us with that volley and yet didn't surprise us with the speed at which he managed to get a yellow card. Oh, fuck, I've been on them for 30 seconds. It was a right. <laughs> I see why he's done it though. Perhaps inspired by Moro's shooting prowess, Connor Barrett figures it's time for him to have a crack at goal. <laughs> Harrison gives it a bit of the cow the dragons as he wonders how Barrett was able to shoot unimpeded by any tackles. Or is it unimpededly? No, no, no. Pybus is as keen as anyone to turn this around, and that eagerness might well cost him personally. Oh. Careful. Sit line, Dan, yeah? Yeah. Dan's awkward fall has damaged his shoulder. Ligament damage, we'd say, with the benefit of this narration being three months later. <laughs> Dan! Dan, you okay? A slick touch from Ustabashi gives Tony Craig a chance to do exactly what he thrives on. Tony, love it. Hell of a fucking tackle, Tony, that is, mate. Dan! Go down if you need to! Piper seems to be refusing treatment as he insists on soldiering on. Yeah. Can't move. Can't move. Look at him. Look at him run. Yeah. Can't move, mate. Oh! Taylor O'Kane gets past Pipus with ease, only to forget that beating Harrison Mann is not an easy feat. Can't no, no. Sprint, yeah. You need to go down. Yeah, but yeah, but we can give you me. some painkillers. Lars has been brought back as well. Yeah, Pyrus can't stay back from the one run. Now he's in a running red. Jimmy can't run either. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair, fair, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just need to go to the box, please. Charman outruns Jimmy and Dan, meaning Harrison has to come to the rescue yet again. Connor Barrett notices a massive gap down the middle of the pitch, and as the saying goes, nature doesn't really like holes very much, or something like that. Well, where did you make use of an empty body? Better off on the dust, playing on the edge or something. Harrison's gone from Cal the Dragon to what the actual fuck. Let's go, lads! Lads, come on! Jim! Let's go, come on! Go! Wanderers have had more warnings than a cigarette smoker and they're running out of time to perform a comeback. Oh, oh Jimmy! Yes! Give me turns around and get the ball, mate. Come on, boys! Come on, Powered by George Frankham, who is out of position at left wing back, Dorkin gets into the fouled box, and Josh Taylor gets a shot away. Goalkeeper Theo Richardson gets a hand to it, and if he'd known it was going to spin in this manner, perhaps he might have recovered it on the line, but he didn't. Tell them to put pressure on their defence! Go longer! Forward! Offside! Forward only, forward only! Dorking have a free kick in dangerous territory. Well, dangerous for a side that's any good at free kicks, at least. The boom goes! Oh, I did the Why do we all go up? You know, I'd have delivered it, maybe to trick him, but I don't know. Yes! 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 Yes!
Russian again. Yes! George Frankham shocks the world of football by delivering a free kick that, while not actually going in, leads to a goal by cannoning back off the crossbar and landing at the feet of tap-in hero James McShane. He'd have been really good at Wembley singles, you know. The kids still play Wembley singles. Dan Gallagher. Go on, Maka. I do. Oh, fuck me, I thought he spilled that. What a chance, that is. Fuck, fucking spilled that. It feels like there's only one likely winner now. Oh, he took it away from him. Oh, oh Jesus oh, Christ. Who's that? Mate, I'd like to see that fucking go back to the Covered him. Get safe, get safe, boy. Oh, what? Go on, the hot dog. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Ustabashi headbutts Moro's elbow, and his head injury gives Mark a chance to plan the final moments of the match. Boys, come out! Come out! You've done brilliantly. You've done brilliantly. Don't go and chase this now. Four minutes to go. But defense. The best form of defense here is to put the ball that end. Put the ball that end with it. Don't try threading passes to your mate. Don't get, put the ball that end. If we nick something, great. But if not, put it that end. Get out the field and win your jewels and stay, hey, stay behind your jewel, uh, behind your man and win your jewels with your man, okay? Go on, you got the ball? Jimmy, double up! How the fuck is How did they get the ball? No idea, Matt. Not, it wasn't even, he couldn't even listen to me, Matt. Cut it off. Time. Get out! Get out! Get out! Dorking were on the front foot, but ever since the ref gave Fylde a free drop ball, erroneously in our opinion, the home side have pushed up the pitch. Now it seems that they're the most likely to steal a winner. Josh Taylor, yes. Who's marking yeah, the 17? Marker. Take them away. Hybus. Try and try and get the two away. Good ad. Good ad time. <laughs> what we got, fourth, please? Yeah. What we got, please? Yeah. How long's that, how long's that, Dino? Two, Dino. No, no, two. 140. 140. One of you. One of you, talk. Pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Good job. Oh, Dan. I fucking love that. I can't see a fucking Dan. thing. That cameraman's in a great position, isn't he? Isn't he? Oh. Foul. Yeah. No, foul. Oh, yeah. Foul. 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 Harrison Mayo claims a high ball and is slightly fouled in the process. He hangs on to it, only for Charman to double down and nod the ball out of his hands. Fortunately for Harrison and Dorking, it's not the same referee as the Bromley match. And this time the blatant foul is indeed noticed. Perhaps not by this supporter though. Yeah, he's got to get in there, it's the last thing. All the mess. All the way. All the way to fence. We can't include all of the team talks and such in these episodes because not enough people watch them and if we include them then YouTube doesn't like it because a lot of you switch off at the full time whistle. So join us on YouTube memberships and you can get everything. You get fully extended team talks, interviews with the players and the managers, extended stuff behind the scenes, all kinds of extra bits.